Hey y'all, um, today I'm coming here to talk to you about a palette. That yeah, I made a video earlier about it after I had um, took out my flat twist that I got done at Urban Bella, but I didn't like the video because you couldn't, the lighting was like horrible. So I hope the lighting in the bathroom is better. Um, I'm trying to do most of my videos in here. Um, so we will see. Um, so stay tuned. So. Um, I bought this palette um, off of Hot Look. It's one of those websites where like they have events um, that only last a certain period of time and um, it's from anywhere. A whole bunch of different type of um, products that they'll sell. They can sell beauty, um, clothing for men or women or kids or household items. Um, just an array, jewelry of, of things that they um, that they sell from the actual uh, from the actual merchandiser I guess you could say um, so this palette I bought from Red Ginger um, they have a red website redginger.com um, it's a Canadian um, company so I'll put the the address in the little description box and um, I paid I want to say maybe 30 I don't know how much I paid for it. I don't remember but yeah so I pay I bought I bought it and then me being loosey-goosey not thinking I had already I forgot that I had already bought a palette from eBay an 88 palette um, from eBay from Hong Kong so when thinking of course it's not gonna get here till eons from now so yeah so now I'll just have two palettes this is the palette it's 180 colors so that's not it's not bad again red ginger so you open it now when I got it it was packaged it had it was packaged very well it um it had the styrofoam around this and then around this thing was the like the bubble wrap and it was sitting inside the big styrofoam but still one of the colors uh, got everywhere it's hold on, hold on let's see it's this bright blue so whenever I get my 88 palette I guess I won't have to worry about it because maybe that color will be there so yeah that one broke and then you flip it up and then hold on because this uh, another part of it broke too as well let's take it off and then this like navy color broke as well as this green it's like shimmery green color I don't know if y'all can see that so and it still sort of kind of gets everywhere but the colors are really pretty so this is the first one I've already used some of the colors that's the first one one of the first ones and then that's the thing underneath right here and then you got this one and it flips up and then you got more colors and then if you pull this these aside you have these colors which you can take out like that and then you flip it up like that so to um I think I've only used it twice since I got it um like well, of course when I first got it I like touched each and every single one wanting to see what it looked like <clears throat> so my friend was here and I was putting all of them on my eyes. I look crazy putting all of them on my eyes. And my son was like, what's on your eyes? What's that on your eyes? Yeah. So today, um, y'all can't tell from the makeup, but today I used, I used just this one. I used that. Mm. I used this color on my lid. Um... 
I used this brown color on my crease. I used this pink, let me see, this pink color right there on, um, on the outside edge and then in the inner corner. And then I used this pale, pale shimmery pink as a highlight under my brow and this little corner spot where all the little nasty goopy stuff collects when you go to sleep. I can't wait to you know I don't I don't do makeup. I don't know any I don't know the first thing of how to combine colors and all that mess. So I just do what comes to my mind I guess so yeah. I know y'all can't tell that I if I have on any makeup but I think it looks nice. Whatever, it was a long day today, so I'm sure it's probably all come off by now. Um, so yeah, these colors are really vibrant. I guess I could show you one. This yellow right here, it's like a golden yellow. I'm sorry if the mirror is like blinding. So this yellow, let's see, put my finger in it. I think it would be probably better if I had an uh, actual brush instead of my finger. That's what it looks like on my finger. Put it on my hand. That's the color of it. I don't know if you... I hope y'all can see that. Here's this pink. This is really bright. This is definitely a hot pink. Check that out. Love it. So excited. So like this first, the bottom row is his, like just the speckles. All of that. It's like just a mixture. Like this one is like a gold and a white, yellow and orange, red and orange, purple and pink, blue and purple, like a light lavender color. And this is like green and light green, pink and light pink pink and purple. It looks like like a light, not a light light blue, but a light blue and a silver. And these two look the same, so I don't know what they thought they were doing with that. I guess the pink is different. And this is like a gold and a brown and then a black and a silver. I don't know the significance of that because, like, well, whatever. I, don't, I just don't see the significance of that even being there. So, yeah, that's about it. I will probably do another video about, let me think, I guess how I store my makeup, maybe. The little bit that I do have. And then the new stuff that I bought from um, Hot Look and all those other places. Yeah, I'll probably do another video about um, some of the other makeup products that I bought and how I store my makeup maybe. And then maybe I'll do like a, a product video, my hair products that I use, what I use typically on my Bantu knots and yeah. That's all I can think of. And I'll probably do, because this is like the first time I did a Bantu knot since I got, since I went to Urban Bella and got my hair cut. And so I'll probably, that's what I'll do. I'll do a video about my hair after Urban Bella. And as you can hear, my son is calling me. So, I'll see you good people later. Peace.